Hello everybody, RV living with the geezer. Now I'm here in the geezer mobile, Casa de geezer, not the geezer mobile. And I uh, just want to show you what I'm having on a Sunday night. Something quick and easy. Making some nachos. Being the old South Texas boy that I am. And uh, pretty simple. I like these, uh, I make my chips. I get my chips out of these, uh, these are actually like for uh, uh, several different names they call them, depending on what part of the country you're in. Uh, they're like for chalupas, or if you're in another part of Texas, they call them tostadas. If you're out in West Texas, they call them Guadalajaras. So there's, and that's, that's when you put the beans and the cheese and uh, lettuce and tomatoes, avocado, all that on them. Chicken, you, put, you can put like chicken on them, make it a tostada, but I'm just having simple nachos tonight. I'm trying to get rid of stuff in my refrigerator, which I do. Uh, I don't like throwing anything away. So, uh, yeah, it's just I break those chips up, and uh, they're really good. They make real great chips. They're, uh, they got jalapeno uh, seasoning or spice in them, whatever. They're a little bit spicy. And then uh, just put a, some refried beans on them, some cheese, and then I try to eat at least a half an avocado every day. They've got uh, pretty, good, uh, pretty good for you. And uh, I've got some uh, hatch uh, that my buddy Scott from South Texas. I'm still working on it, Scott. I got the medium this time. And in my pantry, I've still got the, I'm saving the hot one for last. Because that's going to be my favorite. Because this gringo, can, I can eat some hot stuff. I was raised with that Delgado family that I told you all about. and um, I, can, I can handle the hot stuff. So I'm saving that for, for last. But, uh, yeah, let me, let me go ahead and uh, get this cheese and everything melted, get my avocado cut up, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm ready to chow down. All right, be back in a minute, guys. Okay, so here we go, guys. I got my avocado sliced up. They say presentation is everything, right? So look at that plate, that old... That's about the cheapest paper plate you can get. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, I got my avocado lined around the perimeter there. And, uh, got my good old hatch medium hot sauce on each nacho. So I'm, I'm about ready to go, guys. And if y'all notice these pills over here, those aren't mine. I uh, put those out there so I don't forget to, uh, I already fed Blanca, but that's her heart medication. She gets it twice a day. And if I, as soon as I feed her, and I feed her twice a day, a little bit in the mornings, a little bit at night, then I stick those bottles out there so I don't, I don't forget, because that's, that's pretty darn important. It's made a world of difference with her. So, uh. Yeah, just wanted to show you what's going on on a Sunday. And I'm in North Texas, but I still eat like I'm in South Texas. So, yeah, she's got a full belly. But as soon as I sit down here and start eating, she'll be up trying to get something. And guess what's on TV? How many of y'all guess that? Baseball. Now I'm pulling for San Diego, and they are ahead right now. So, all right guys, got my tea made up right here on my little hot plate. Life is good. Life is good for the geezer. We'll be talking at you later. Peace to y'all. Stay blessed. Stay positive. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. And uh, happy Columbus Day. For y'all that are off, go out and have some fun, guys. Adios, my friends. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.